junk it <laughs> comes out of my pores. Ow. Honestly, it makes my skin feel so smooth. It feels literally like a baby's butt. Morning, everyone. Today we are doing a morning routine slash I guess skincare and also doing a makeup all in one video today. And today is Sunday. So this is kind of my um, deep skincare routine where I'm going to do like face masks and uh, my daily serums and moisturizers. And then we're going to get on into kind of a quick 5 to 10 minute makeup where I basically do a really fast everyday makeup. Today is Sunday, like I said. So I've actually been up for a few hours now. I'm not going to do like a me pretending to wake up and filming it and kind of going into all that because I've been up for a few hours and I just took a shower and I've been highly unmotivated to do anything else for today but we're gonna get started my hair is in a bun um, I actually don't wash my hair on Sundays I like to do it on Mondays because then it's like fresh for the week and my hair gets greasy within like 12 hours of me washing it. So I don't wash my hair on Sundays, but obviously I take a shower and I rinse off and I'm going to be doing my skincare routine now. So on Sundays, I like to do a little bit more than I normally do. So I'm going to basically be starting off. All right, so what I like to do on Sundays is do a Bior Mousse uh, Charcoal Strip. So I like to do this, it gets really into the, all the pores and I think a lot of people actually like doing this because I like to see how much junk it <laughs> comes out of my pores. And then I also do a little like eye mask under the eyes here um, and this is actually still from my Wish video that I did a few months ago now I think. So this is like a collagen crystal eye mask I think this came in like a set of four. And I honestly haven't been using them. I kind of forgot I had them. So we're going to use this today. And then I also like the Formula 10.06 Be Berry Clear Illuminating Peel Off Mask for the rest of my face. So I'm basically going to be putting this all on together. And then we're going to take it off. I think it only needs about 10 to 15 minutes for a product besides... Um, the eye mask which says 30 but I never do 30 since it's from Wish and I don't really trust it that much. So we're going to just leave it on for 10 or 15 minutes while I start getting ready on, you know, brushing my teeth and stuff like that. Right, let's get started and get right on into the video. So to start off with the charcoal deep cleansing pore strips, I just get this, um, towel that's micro, I think it's microfiber or something like that. Um, I only use this for my face. I just run it under some hot water and um, keep this on my nose to kind of open up the pores that I have. Um, so that helps the strips um, get even deeper into the pores. I just want to really open up those pores and also, you, your nose needs to be a little wet for the like adhesive to work. If you have ever done like nose strips, I'm sure you've done the same thing in the past. All right, so now that's been like a minute or so, we're gonna put on the nose strip here. And this says leave on for about 10 to 15 minutes until it feels stiff. And then next, I'm going to just put on the eye mask. Alright. I'm just going to put this right on. It kind of overlaps onto the pore strip a little bit, which is fine for me. I think I make these a little too big anyways. But and I got the eye mask and the nose on. So we're just going to go into the rest of the face and put the Very Clear Illuminating Peel Mask. This is basically like a brightening mask, it's supposed to minimize pores as well. And this is, um, 
It has a light, almost light pink kind of clear tint to it. You may not see it that well when it's on. So this is going everywhere else on my face. And then some more. So it's pretty much all on my face. I know you can't see it that well. It just looks a little um, like shiny. And I look a little ridiculous, but that's okay. So basically I'm just going to leave these on for about 10 to 15 minutes until I feel like they stiffening and harden up on my face and that will let me know that it's time to like peel off the mask and I'll also be taking off the eye and nose strip as well. So I will see you again in about 10 to 15 minutes. Alright so it's been about 10 minutes and the peel off mask looks like it is um, pretty much dried. I tested out a little piece to see if it would come up. So I'm going to take off these eye masks, which are very, very gooey. And I think I'm going to take off the face mask. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Ow. I always get it in my hair. If you ever use this, try to avoid getting it in your hair. I always seem to get it like in my little baby hairs up front and it likes to stay on there. It does not like to come off at all. Ow, ow, eyebrow hairs. I will say this is a lot. Um, it doesn't hurt as much as doing like the charcoal peel off mask, which I've done in the past and most of the time, those ones hurt like crazy, like those hurt so bad. And this one is not that bad to peel off. It actually feels kind of nice on the skin, it's just making sure you don't get it in your hair and stuff like that. Which as you see, I always get it in my hair, which is just great. To get it out, you kind of have to like wash it out and like scrub it with a towel which I'll have to do take the nose off I love looking at like what comes out not too much came out today which is I guess a good sign seeing as I don't have too much as you see it kind of leaves little marks here and there so I do have to wash my face after do this I just wash the face and hopefully the rest of this stuff comes off off my face with kind of um, cool water to kind of start closing up the pores again. Just going to pat dry with my face towel and then we're going to go in and start using some serums. So I use the Ordinary um, and I've actually expanded on the Ordinary products that I use since my first Ordinary video which I'll link in the eye above. I've expanded quite a few. This is one of the originals. Still can't pronounce the name of this one, um, but you can read that. But I usually just go in with this one and do like kind of on my problem areas. I don't like to put it all over my face because it dries it out. So I literally just kind of use it as a spot treatment because this is really good for acne prone skin. All right, the next step I use is the Buffet, which this is a new product that I've just started using. Um, this is supposed to be kind of like an all-around good product. Um, so basically everything from like skin texture to moisturizing and stuff like that. Um, a lot of people have like mentioned it's kind of like the holy grail of serums. Um, I'm not exactly sure about all of the benefits of it. I like to go in and put this all over my face. And then I actually like to roll this one in so it gets kind of deeper into my skin. And there's like a lot of um, 
kind of mixed reviews on if people like to use this tool or not. Um, I basically only like to use it with this one serum because uh, I feel like it gets more into my skin than the rest of them, you know, just like putting it on with your fingertips, if you like, doesn't um, get it all the way into your skin. So I like to roll this serum on and just make sure it gets like all over, basically. Alright, now that the second serum is on, then we're going to go into the last serum. Um, which I'm not sure how to pronounce as well. So this one is basically a brightening serum. It has vitamin C in it as well. This is supposed to be a really good product for your skin and I use this in the morning. So I just put it right on my cheek and pat it on. This one does make your skin feel a little bit more tacky. See, I don't like to put on a whole bunch, I just need like two drops of it. Alright, and while I let the serums kind of soak into the skin, um, I like to take a little break before I put in um, a lot of moisturizer. So I go in, um, usually just on Sundays, and do a lip scrub, and this is from Lush. I'm basically going to just put this all over my lips so that they're nice and smooth. So now the lip scrub is all done and my lips are nice and smooth and not chapped anymore. I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Paris Revitalift Eye Cream um, and I just picked this up I think like a week ago. It's supposed to just help firm up your like, under eye area and help to reduce wrinkles and stuff like that. So I like to put this just under the eye and then right on the side where you would normally get like crow's feet starting to pop up and then when I did read the directions on this it did say that you should use it day and night so that's what I've been doing and then the last step for face is this my spot hemp collection active day and night hydrating facial cream so again I've been using this day and night for the past week and I've actually just really started getting into moisturizers lately. I just love that my face feels so much better when I have a, like a good moisturizer on. Alright, so that completes the face. Um, again, like I said, the moisturizer has only been in my routine for about a week now. And the serums have probably been in there for a few months. So... I think I've been seeing a big difference in my face ever since I started using the serums and the moisturizers of course just help to hydrate. So the last step I do is take a biotin gummy so if you don't know biotin is really good for hair skin and that nail health I'm going to keep it in the routine for a while and see what differences I see um, and now we're going to just go to the hair because it's right in a bun and I didn't wash it today. It's actually like the last day before I wash it, which will be tomorrow. So I'm going to comb this out. This is my uh, wooden hairbrush that I got for Christmas. Um, the wooden hairbrush is supposed to basically the bristles are wooden, so they're supposed to kind of absorb some of the excess oil and help distribute it out throughout the rest of your hair, so it's not just on the top. All right, and then um, since it is the last day before I shower, um, it is looking a little, not a little, kind of a lot greasy. So I'm just going to go in with Not Your Mother's um, dry shampoo, and I just get the unscented kind. I've actually been trying out a few different ones, but I seem to always go back to this one because the scent is really bad on some of the other ones. So I do kind of part my hair and go all the way around. And this 
this is basically all I do for my hair on a Sunday. Usually I take a shower and actually wash my hair on Monday. Um, so I don't really do too much with it. I just want to put some dry shampoo in it so it looks um, not as bad as it actually is. I'm going to do like a quick 5-10 minute um, makeup routine and then we'll be all ready for the day. Let's jump over to all right, so we are now ready to put on makeup for today. Again, this is going to be like a quick five, a 10 minute um, little makeup. I want I don't wanna say tutorial because honestly, I'm not that great at makeup, so this could be completely wrong. Um, again, do what you wanna do. I'm just gonna show you what I typically do because I don't normally wear a bunch of makeup. Honestly, most days I don't even wear it. So I'm going to just show you really quickly kind of the 10 minute routine that I do. Let's just get started. Again, I go in with some primer, kind of push the hair out of my face. I like to go in at kind of the redder spots of my face with this. This is the Maybelline Prime um, and this is the Blur Redness Control Primer. I use this and then I also use the baby skin which I like to use on the rest of my face because it honestly makes my skin feel so smooth it feels literally like a baby's butt like <laughs> ridiculously smooth I just feel it like filling in all the pores and just smoothing everything out next I'm just going to go in with the oh, yeah this is the matte poreless um, Maybelline fit me foundation which I really like. I honestly haven't found like a foundation that I actually love. I feel like my skin just isn't really good with the makeup. That's kind of why I don't like to use it that much because I honestly don't think it looks that great on me a lot of the times. Like it'll look really patchy and kind of um, cake up on especially like the cheeks of my area, like right here, will like kind of cake up and look really patchy. And I haven't found a foundation that doesn't do that. So I'm not exactly sure, I guess, why that is, or if it's just my skin not, um, not liking the makeup very much. If you ever had that problem, let me know if you fixed it or found a better foundation also let me know because I am willing to try different foundations it would be very helpful um, if you want me to do like a testing video of different foundations I can do that as well I normally do like only drugstore brands so let me know if you want me to try out any specific foundations or anything like that I'll be willing to give it a shot again if you've also had the problem where you have like a lot of patchiness or cakiness on your face um, not just with like this foundation, but I use like Milani and Alme and um, what's this, Neutrogena I also have, and they all seem to do the same thing. So if you do have a recommendation, let me know. I would love to try out some different foundation and hopefully one will work for my skin type. All right, so we're going to go in with the Age Rewind Concealer. Again, this isn't my favorite, um, concealer but I haven't really found the greatest concealer yet. just because the application I just feel like it's really dirty like as soon as you use it and now I'm just using a dirty sponge on my face all the time next we're just gonna go in I have the fit me powder and this is in the color fair I don't like to use translucent powder just because it looks like almost too white on my skin tone even though I am very white kind of just go in with it like to blend it in as much as I can and then kind of wipe off the excess next we go in with some bronzer and I use this little um the take home the bronze bronzer by the balm this was something that my cousin sent to me as well like the tone on this one it's a little it's kind of warm toned but it has like a cool undertone to it and it is very pigmented as you can see you really have to blend it out 
So I'm just going to kind of lightly go in with the brow. So I go in with the Maybelline Brow Define and Fill Duo. And this basically has like a little pencil on the end. And then on this end, it's kind of like a little sponge tip. And this is in blonde. Go just fill this in. Just gonna go in, and this is like an elf eyeliner with a felt tip. Um, just gonna go in and lightly line over our eyes. And I'm not gonna do like a wing or anything today. Um, I usually like a wing look, but sometimes it's just a little too much for me. We are just going to go in with, this is Bad Gal Bang Mascara by Benefit. Again, this is another one my cousin had sent me. And I really like this. It's very like separating and creates a lot of length. We've got mascara on. So this is pretty much the finished look. I'm just going to finish off with this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, setting spray. It smells very chemically. Alright, so last but not least, we gotta do something with the lips. Um, also, I'm gonna do this like really light highlighter. Um, this is Essence Highlighter. Put that right in here. Go up and down with the nose. I like to go right under the brow, it kind of lifts it up a little bit. Alright, I'm just going to go in with my favorite lip. Um, this is from Carity, Carity. Never figured out the right pronunciation of that name. It's like my favorite liquid lip. Alright, so now we have the completed look. This is kind of the fastest that I do my makeup. Um, trying to get it to 10 minutes because I do way too long in the makeup. I don't know why it takes me forever. Probably because I'm not that good at it, honestly. But I um, hope you enjoyed watching my morning routine. Again, a lot of this is kind of basic what I do every day. And then the skincare routine was a little bit more in depth with, you know, the eye mask and the peel off and all that. Um, this is Sunday and I do a little bit more on skincare on Sundays. And then a little less with like my hair and makeup as well. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more, you can always click down below and subscribe. I also have all my social medias linked down below as well. I do post a lot on Instagram. Um, I'm trying to get more into Twitter. I was never really that big into Twitter. And then I also post on like Snapchat and Facebook a lot. So. Feel free to follow me, I will be posting a lot more as I get more followers. And click that little bell notification button down below if you want to see more, you want to get notified every time I post a brand new video. I post every Sundays at 11am, um, so if you want to see that, please click that button. And I will see you next Sunday for a brand new video. Bye!